We're here with Andrew Heine this afternoon. I'm going to ask him some questions about his art and artistic process and inspiration. <laughs> so I've often wondered, where do these faces come from? Well, I first learned to draw, I mean, I guess I've always been interested in learning to draw the, the face. Um, but uh, the thing I like about drawing people is the amount um, of expression there is. Like if you draw a car and the line's a little bit squiggly, it ends up looking like a dent. But if, you, uh, if you're drawing a face and every little subtle detail in, uh, in the human face, it changes the expression, it changes the person's, uh, the, changes the person that you're drawing. Like when you see a person, you see part of their story, sort of, you can like infer it because we're so used to seeing people all the time. I don't know, it's just something we're familiar with. Uh, some have said that these vaguely resemble Walter Heine. Walter Heine? Is there any truth to that? No. He's a bald old man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. He's not as skinny as most of them, probably. And he has like hair on the sides. He's got that thing. What do you call that? The horseshoe? Yeah. I don't know. Friar Tuck? Friar Tuck, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the Sains? The little two to three word things that go with most of your paintings? Mm -hmm. They're mostly just to provoke thought, try to make it as ambiguous as possible while still like, I feel like there, sometimes you see it and if you explain it in a certain way, it can be like really poignant and just cut the shit in quick. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty particular about what I write. Like I won't write it until I'm, it's like a, it's like a zen thing, so I just gotta feel it and write whatever words come out. So it's something that's kind of with the mood that you're in in that time or more towards the exact drawing that you're doing? Mm -hmm. A little bit of both. The drawing is reflective of my mood. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of them where it's like, it's just that it's a drawing of a, just a human you know, it doesn't really matter what they're doing or what they look like, you know, it's just the idea of you see these words and you equate it with, it's the people I draw are supposed to be like just a pretty ambiguous person, no hair, no clothes, no uh, I don't know like they all look like guys but they're not, it's not gender specific mm. It's it could be either really I mean, there's no reason, it just I guess there's not that many bald girls, so. <laughs> but, so it's, a, it's an ambiguous person, so it's like just the, it's like a commentary on just like being human, just in the most general, general form, I guess. If you had to be stuck with either a Sharpie or a paintbrush as your only artistic expression for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Mm. I like paintbrush. I like the colors of paint better than I like the colors of Sharpies. Mm. Sharpies pretty useful though. But Tough one? Yeah, no, I'd say paint. I'm not as good at painting as I am at drawing with Sharpies, but I don't know. I got another 50 or 60 years to go. Cool. <clears throat> well, thanks for sitting down with us you today. You got it. Thanks for the beer.